Hello, Miss Lady Petal here. Now, I'm just here to let you know that I have completed my journaling Crazy Island journal for the year 2014. And the reason that I'm showing you this, it's a teaser, right? This is the front cover. It's a teaser, right? Because this journal has been bound with loose leaf pages only. And yet, it is a full-on journal that is able to be used and is strong as a book. And I just want to show you in this particular tutorial and lesson, actually it's a very in-depth lesson, if you don't know how to bind loose leaf pages, and these are pages that have things only on one side. Now, I do show you a technique in this particular class on how to bind pages that are glued together front to back, or they're done on both sides. But the best way to do this is to use your journal pages where they've only been done on one side. The reason I say that is because the technique that I use needs them to be blank on the inside because for this particular year in journaling crazy island style i used a cheaper type of paper if i'd been using a very expensive watercolor or mixed media paper for this all through the year i would bind this in a completely different method but as it is and the other thing to note is that when you're using watercolor paper the back of it isn't treated the same as the front so you need to always keep in mind the type of paper that you're using. Now, I love to use all different kinds of paper, and I've used grid paper, I've used mixed media paper, I've used really cheap papers, I've used copy paper, I've used all sorts of papers in this journal. And I have really nice, thick, strong pages, a thick, strong binding, it's all glued together and stitched together very, very well, and it has a clasp, because of course I have stuff like paper beads and... I have all sorts of things in here from tags and, and projects that I've done during the year and I've designed a way to have a clasp so that it keeps the majority of all of that from hanging right down like that is there. <laughs> so we'll fold it up through and I'll show you what I mean. So now when I put this on a bookcase I just pop it in the bookcase and it sits there nicely and I see this beautiful spine and that's what I see for the year 2014 and all of my stitching is covered so this is a course that's free to journaling crazy island style subscribers for the 2014 year if you are joining journaling crazy island style in 2015 this course will be available from the 1st of January as a standalone course it is very involved and it gives very close and step-by-step -step instructions and minute uh, measurements to get this right and to have your precious art bound in a journal that's both strong and durable and has great structural integrity and protects and preserves your art right to the edge of the page. So join me for that course if you are a journaling crazy island style 2014 subscriber well done to you you're going to get that course for free if you're a 2015 subscriber this course will be priced at 15 dollars it's a really good value course because it gives you a way to completely free up the way that you approach your art journaling because i don't know about you but i get really hampered by having great big fat books because when you have a delusions journal or you have a strathmore journal or other sorts of journals by the time you've put a fair amount of art in them they sit up like this and then you're working on the side or you're trying to make one side flat and the other sides up and you're hampered by you know the big fat side on the other side i always work flat it gives me greater freedom i found i've worked in all sorts of journals handmade bought close bound loose bound spiral you name it, I've used it, and I still prefer to work loose leaf. It gives me complete freedom to change exactly what I'm doing every single week, and if I have a particular idea, I just run with it. I don't have to think about putting it in a journal. Well, you know, how will that work in a delusions journal? Can I do this? What will I have to paste in? Will that paste hold up to extra wet media going on it? Will it bubble with a paste ribs or, you know, all those sorts of things. All I need to do is 
work on the page for that week make sure that it's got great adhesion and great structural integrity and then at the end of the year I have the perfect journal the journal is not too small it's not too big it's made exactly for the amount of pages that I've done in that given year and then I end up with one nice great big journal with all my work for a calendar year in it and I might stress this is only seven months worth of work so next year's I'm actually taking on two big projects so I would say I'll have two but I'll still be doing them reasonably similarly similarly so join me for this beautiful course and uh, I'm excited that I can give you an option to use loose loose leaf art journaling ciao for now learn something new today it keeps you young